In this lesson we will learn what a matrix is. A matrix is basically a combination of four vectors. The first vector is called offset, which gives us the position of our object in 3D space with its three components x, y and z. So offset equals the position of the object. The second vector is called v1 or vector1 and this one gives us the alignment of our first axis, the x-axis of our object. The next one is called v2, vector2, which gives us the alignment of our second axis, the y-axis. And the last one is called v3, the vector3, which gives us the alignment of our z-axis. So basically a matrix gives us a lot of information. It shows us where our object is, and how the object is aligned in 3D space. Cinema 4D uses a matrix to build up the local coordinate system of an object. So this object over here has its local coordinates, x, y and z, and its position. If you have uh, some child objects under this um, cube here, those child objects use the local coordinate system of their parent as as their coordinate system. So if you distort this coordinate system by simply maybe um, scaling the x-axis of this object, you also scale the whole coordinate system of this object and all childs will also be distorted. So the matrix is a very important uh, element in 3D which uh, we can use for different things. Let's jump into cinema and try something. I want to create an object, maybe just a cube for our example here and two null objects. And I want to control this object with my two nulls and the first one will be our position control and the second one should be our rotation control. So maybe let's move it over here that we can see them. Our position control will be maybe a star that we can see it. Something like this, pretty big. And our rotation control should look like a cube. Something like this. Yeah, this is good. Now we want to create an Expresso tag. I will put, this time I will put the Expresso tag just on the cube, but it actually doesn't matter where the Expresso tag is. There are a few cases where it does matter, but right now it doesn't matter. Um, we have our floating window here. And let's put in our two controls. Position control and rotation control. I create uh, a global matrix output. And what I now want to do is I want to take from this global matrix just the position information, so the offset. And from this control I only want to uh, take the information about the axis, so about the alignment. And then I want to feed it in to this object here. So I create an input port global matrix. So first of all, we need to split our matrix uh, up into the uh, four different vectors. So there's a node which is called matrix to vectors. It's an adapter and it converts my matrix into the four uh, different components over here. So we need this two times. So I just hold down control and drag this node here, so I can copy it, and then we connect it. If I just remove the connection again and click on it, you can see how the matrix looks internally. So this is the, the offset, x, y, z, and our three axes. Connect it again, okay. So now I need just the opposite of this node here, which uh, combines four vectors again to a matrix. So this is the opposite here, vectors to matrix. We'll take this one, place it over here. And now we use the offset of our position control null, put it in here. 
and we need the alignment of our uh, three axes over here. So, and after that, we connect this one to the global matrix of the cube. So what we've done now is, we took the position of our position control and the um, axis alignment of our um, rotation control and combined these two again to a matrix which we use for our cube. Of course, over here we could also remove this one and uh, don't use the global matrix, uh, but the just the position, so that's the same. But just to show you how we can split up those um, vectors of the matrix, I use it this way. Okay, so now we're done. And you see that the um, cube instantly snapped to the position of our star. So if I move my star around, it uh, the cube also moves with it. If I rotate my star, nothing will happen because we only read out the position of our um, of our position control object. But if I move my cube, the uh, my uh, rotation control null object, the cube will rotate also exactly in the right way. And if I move uh, this object here, nothing will happen because we just read out the rotation control. So this is a pretty basic example how you can split up uh, a matrix into its components and combine it again in a in a new object. And this gives you a lot of flexibility when you have uh, special rigs or special setups, something like if you rig a car or if you just need rotation information and need the position of another object, this is quite handy. So in this, les in this lesson you learned uh, what a matrix is and how you can split the components up in separate pieces and put it together in a new one. And in the next lesson we will learn how we can combine different data types.